So editing a video right in your phone can be tricky and painful, especially when working with many video files and audio channels. And in this video, I'm going to share the workflow which I have adapted while editing videos in smartphone. You could say this as a baby version of PC editing. This allows me to create much better and meaningful videos. And one of the main challenges while working in a smartphone is the limited screen space. With the video frame, timeline and tools, there isn't any space left in the screen. So hopefully this video will help you make better videos. Here are some few example videos that I have created using my smartphone. There is a Manhattan bound local 7 train to 3. Basically, the editing process can be divided into three to four main steps assembly, audio, coloring, and at the end, additional effects and filters. So, for this video, I'll be using Video Leap by Lightrix and CapCut to demonstrate the editing workflow that I use, and I'll be also showcasing them in both Android and iOS. So, assembly refers to placing all the clips in the correct order with the right cuts at the right time. Sounds simple, but this is the absolute crucial step which determines the quality of the edited video. So usually I start by creating an album in the Photos Gallery app and put all the videos that I need there. Now I'll use the gallery as a place to browse the videos and decide what video I want next to be in the timeline. And after I have the video I want, I will go back in the video editing app and choose that particular video. This makes the video selection process very easy. I'll keep doing it back and forth and keep adding videos until the timeline is complete. And while transitioning between videos, I usually try to find something common between them so that the transition is smooth. Uh, it can be based on movement, uh, colors, similar scene, but it's up to you to decide how you want the transition to happen. And if you want to add music and make edits based on the music, you would probably want to add the music first and then start adding videos on the beat. So after you have your timeline set up, you might want to edit the audio. And both of these editing apps will allow you to unlink audio and video. So both of them will be two separate layers and each of them can be edited separately. I'll also occasionally add few audios like waves and rain depending upon what's happening in the video which adds life in the video and makes the video more immersive. Assembly is the most important step and will probably take most of your time when editing on a smartphone and after that you would mainly want to focus on the audio part. Another cool trick is to have audio play few seconds before the video is shown on the screen. This helps in making the transition more smooth and, and make the flow of the video more natural. Next comes coloring and matching the clips. In this step, I will go through all the clips individually, matching the lightning, temperature and all the other settings based on what the app allows you to do. And at the end, I will add a low intensity filter as a layer over all the clips to change the vibe of the video. You can also spend more time at the end to make the transitions more better and add effects on the clips but I generally try to avoid those because in smartphone it's not as good as you would get in a PC. So that's pretty much it. Generally while editing from the smartphone I try to keep it simple and focus more on the timeline. And if you have stayed until now, I would really appreciate if you could follow my Instagram where you can check all of my other edits and all of my other work. And I really hope this video has helped you out and encouraged you to make more videos. Would really like to see if you end up making one, just send it to me in Instagram. And that's it. It would really help me out and encourage me to make more videos if you could subscribe and like. And I will definitely be out with more tutorials in the future so be on the watch thanks for watching see you in the next one